Hi, my name is Thalia MK. I'm at Health 2.0 conference. I have with me Karen Rons Rosentine. I'm so sorry to pronounce the name wrong. And she's a founder in Technological Emergency Room. And she also received an award for outstanding leadership for her work. First of all, congratulations for that. And please tell us about your company. Uh, sure. So um, in the past three years, I've been working on building a technological emergency room in the Upper Eastern Galil in Israel. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I raised uh, $3 million and Sheba Hospital, which is the ninth uh, largest hospital uh, in the world, the best one and the largest one in Israel, uh, health tech startups, uh, the Ministry of Health approval, uh, approvals, um, and yes, yeah, some meaningful collaborations okay. so far. So uh, your company is Emergency Room. So what are the services being provided that um, the, uh, God forbid, if there's a patient, the, if the ambulance will be provided, the treatment will be provided? What exactly Emergency Room stands for? So what stands us apart uh, is the fact that we try to provide high quality services and which are time efficient um, in remote places. So what we provide exactly is, um, let's say a patient come to our uh, emergency room, so they're gonna register at the reception, um, and then they're gonna wait for a doctor, a physician, a, phys a doctor, a, doc a doctor, I'm sorry, no, during a long no day, a doctor will see them. Um, then they, he or she, the doctor, send them to, um, uh, to do some blood tests. So we have really quick blood tests. Uh, in a matter of 10 or 15 minutes, a person will have all the data. And then they go back to the doctor. And if the doctor needs to consult um, a physician, let's say a cardiology, then on that moment, a uh, specialist from Sheba can, um, through telemedicine, can um, give provide consultants. So once the person enters the emergency room, and until they leave, it will be hopefully less than an hour. So uh, it's kind of, uh, the process gets faster, quicker, so that the precious time is not wasted because when it's an emergency, you don't need to lose weight. Uh, like you don't have time to waste anymore. That's amazing. So what made you uh, start working at such, in such field, something out of the box, something which has been for centuries? What made you go through it that, yes, I want to work for this field? Um, well, I used to work at the Israeli uh, parliament um, for a few good years. I wanted to be the Ministry of, uh, Ministry of Welfare, as naive it may sound, I know. Um, and then I realized that if you want to do something good, uh, you have to do it by yourself. Yes. Exactly. Um, so I left my work uh, in the Israeli parliament and I moved my whole life to the north uh, by myself for two years. And I tried to do some research. Uh, I used to had uh, six uh, uh, cardiac events uh, during my 20s, uh, which were really traumatic for me. For two years, I was afraid to leave my home because of that. So I started to research about the, the, the problem I had, which was uh, a heart arrhythmia. And 50% of the population uh, will suffer from that, that it can happen at any age in any moment. So not everyone, in my case, my heart was 230. So a person, once they run a marathon, their heart is 170. Um, so um, I remember when it happened, I was lucky enough to live in the center of Israel. So an ambulance came, they rushed me to the hospital, they inject uh, denosine, which stops the heart for six seconds. So my heart was from 230 to zero to 90 in like 10 seconds. Um, and, uh, you know, in that moment, you understand how every seconds matter. And I realized, well, what happened to people? I was in my 20s. My heart can handle that kind of really fast heart beating. Yeah, but what happened when someone in their 60s or 70s or their 80s? And it can happen at any time. And what happened if the person is not living in the center of the place? Then don't know how emergency would work you were lucky over there and I think so I'm so sorry for uh, your experience oh, but I feel unfortunately that experience um, helped you and help um, is trying to help so many people in so many ways I applaud you for that so I want to know that what makes your company and emergency rooms better as you said like the pointer is that it's faster and all but what makes it like stand out so that all of the people from all over the world can apply for those services 
That's a good question. I, I'm, I'm, I hope I'll meet you in maybe five or years from now and I can remind you that question and hopefully my answer will be that we can duplicate the same model in other countries and other peripheries. What we're doing right now in Israel, in the north of Israel, is, is a better site. So we're testing, we're testing startups, we're, we're testing different kind of models, also um, economic models to see how it can be sustainable because we want it to last for 10, 20, 30 years from now. Um, so once we'll have all the answers and we'll have a model that is working and can provide good um, medical uh, treatment for people, then we will duplicate it to other countries. That's the big dream. Um, what stands us than others, I think the fact that we learned that after COVID, we understand the importance of having really efficient care to save time for people to be in the emergency room and exposed to germs. Um, I know personally, I'm sure you as well, people that has aches in their chest, but they're saying, I don't want to go to the emergency room because I'm going to be there for eight hours. I want to, I want to, re that. exactly, I want to reduce that. I want people to know that for every little thing, they can come, they can be in and out, hopefully if everything is okay in an hour. Um, and also for HMOs and, and governments to support that economically, it should be a treatment that everyone deserves. Uh, it's a basic right. I think uh, when it comes to health, health is the most important one and necessity. I'm very glad uh, you uh, came to this organization, to this conference. After receiving an award, after attending, I would like to know, as you are trying to educate people about emergency room, what you have learned from this learning experiences and networking. And if anybody wants to contact your company or you, how can they go, uh, come ahead for collaboration and advice? Um. I'm, I'm learning a lot, actually. I'm, I'm a true believer that you can learn so much from people, from every person. Um, I think I gain the most from this conference is on a personal note. It's the fact that all of us here, everyone has suffered some struggles. Exactly, and also the journey is hard. You, you hear so many no's, you hear so many people that say you will never make it, it's really hard field. So I feel what I take the most from this, this conference is knowing that I'm not alone in this journey and being inspired for so many people who, who had the same journey as me and never quit. So I, I get a lot of strength from that. Thank you so much for your time and I would, I would just end it with uh, be kind to yourself and be kind to others. That's how you can make the change and uh, do not be afraid of believing in your dreams and work for it. And you got, if your intentions are good, you're going to make the change and I'm, I'm hoping and rooting for you to make the change. Thank you so much for your time and this is Thalia MK signing off. Thank you.